Hello boys and girls and welcome back to another Miss McD Reads to Me. I'm Miss McD and today I have a fun little story called Sophie's Squash Go to School and it's about a little girl on the first day of school and she takes a couple of very unusual friends along with her. So if everyone's ready then let's get started. Sophie Squash Go to School is written by Pat Zaitlo Miller and it's illustrated by Anne Wilsdorf. On the first day of school, Sophie peeked into her classroom. Kids were everywhere, talking, laughing, bouncing. You'll make a lot of friends, said her mother. Sophie clutched her backpack. I won't, she said. You'll have tons of fun, said her father. But Sophie didn't. The chairs were uncomfortable, the milk tasted funny, and no one appreciated her two best friends, Bonnie and Baxter. Are those toys? asked Liam. Do they bounce? asked Roshni. Can we eat them? asked Noreen. No, said Sophie. No, no, no. I grew them in my garden and they are my friends. And then there was Stephen Green. He sat by Sophie at circle time, played near Sophie during recess and watched while Sophie painted. Oh, stop breathing on me, Sophie said. Stephen's just trying to be nice, said Miss Park, but Sophie wasn't interested. So the next time Stephen appeared, Sophie bounced Bonnie and Baxter on her knees and said, I already have friends. Me too, Stephen said. He pulled a stuffed frog from behind his back. I got Marvin when he was a tadpole. Sophie nodded. Then you don't need me. Well, she thought, that's that. But the next day, while she was building a tower, Stephen worked on a puzzle nearby. The day after that, he peered over Sophie's shoulder when she looked at books. He even chimed in with little known facts when it was Sophie's turn to show and share. Actually, squash are fruits, not vegetables. Sophie's parents were no help at all. Oh, Stephen sounds adorable, said her mother, and it's good to have friends. Especially human ones, added her father. Sophie hugged Bonnie and Baxter tightly. I have all the friends I need. Still, Sophie knew Bonnie and Baxter wouldn't last forever. So when Liam showed everyone how to do his loose tooth dance, Sophie considered joining in. When Roshni spilled her milk, Sophie almost shared her napkin. And when Noreen told her favourite banana joke, Sophie laughed inside her head. Why are bananas never lonely? Because they hang out in bunches. But during recess, Liam, Roshni and Noreen jumped rope while Sophie played hopscotch with Bonnie and Baxter. Can we play too? asked Stephen Green. Marvin's good at hopping. Sorry, said Sophie. Frogs make Baxter sneeze. So Stephen sat alone. Aww. That weekend, 
Bonnie and Baxter looked too tired to hop or build towers. It's time, said Sophie's mother. So Sophie made a garden bed and tucked her squash in for their winter nap. Sleep tight, she said. See you soon. But spring seemed very far away. On Monday, Sophie drew squash babies until Miss Park asked an interesting question. What makes a good friend? They play with you? asked Liam. They help you? suggested Roshni. They think you're funny? asked Noreen. They like what you like, said Stephen Green. Great answers, said Miss Park. Let's draw pictures of our friends. Sophie drew Bonnie and Baxter. She was sprinkling matching glitter when Stephen Green appeared. Can I see? No, Sophie said. It's private. Please, Stephen took the picture. Sophie tugged back. Then they tugged at the same time and rip. Sophie tried not to cry. You are not my friend, she said. For the rest of the day, Sophie didn't talk to Stephen Green. She didn't talk to anyone. Until she saw her mother after school. Sweet potato, said Sophie's mother. That adorable boy didn't mean to tear your picture. He is not a good friend, Sophie said, and neither is his frog. The next morning, Sophie found Marvin in her cubby holding an envelope. Hop somewhere else, she said. And by lunchtime, he had... When Sophie's father opened her backpack that night, Marvin and his envelope were inside. Sugar Plum, he said, this must be for you. Sophie opened the envelope. She found a picture of Bonnie and Baxter and a packet of seeds. Do friends really like the same things you like? She asked her father. Sometimes, he said. Oh, said Sophie. And she thought for a long time. Then she took Marvin outside and sat by Bonnie and Baxter and thought some more. As soon as she got to school, Sophie found Stephen Green. Your frog had a great idea, she said, and she whispered in his ear. During recess, Sophie, Stephen and Marvin met with Miss Park. The next day, Miss Park gave everyone a cup, some dirt and one small seed. What are these? Noreen asked. You'll see, Sophie replied. Can we eat them? No, Sophie said. You never eat a friend, added Stephen. Soon the seeds were planted in dirt-filled pots. Stephen added water and Sophie set them in the sun. Nothing's happening, said Roshni. But before too long, tiny shoots appeared. Sophie and Stephen did a new plant dance and invited everyone to join in. 
See, Sophie told Stephen, sometimes growing a friend just takes time. The end. <laughs> That's a fun little story and funny little friends to take to school with you, but friends come in all shapes and sizes and sometimes friendship is worth waiting for. I hope you'll join me again next time on Miss McD Reads to Me, but until then, remember, keep reading. Yeah.